Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. I'm your girl with the Moses, Camille, and we're going to do some white chicken chili. I was going to do it the other day, but we're going to do it today, okay? But I got two cans of Great Northern Beans and two cans of corn. I don't know. I think I'm only going to use one because I don't want to make a whole lot. So you're going to need a pound of uh, chicken, chicken breast. I got a rotisserie chicken, and I cut up a little... Uh, some breasts here, uh, white, uh, cut up the white meat in the uh, rotisserie chicken. And you're going to need two teaspoons of fresh garlic. Fresh garlic, you're going to need about uh, two teaspoons of that. You're going to need a can or two cans of great northern beans. That's if we want to make a large quantity. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And you can use two cans of green chives, but I didn't want to use the green chives because I don't want to make it too hot. So I'm not using the chives at all. And then you're going to need, um, where's my thing? Oh, I thought I had it. Yep, here we go. You're going to need uh, one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon of oregano. Okay. You're going to need one onion. This is a small onion. That's all I wanted was a small onion. You're going to need three cups of broth. I got it on the stove boiling now. Let me show you. It's on the stove boiling now. To your taste, what I used was the beef base and some water and just get it to the taste that you want, okay? And you're going to need um, some half a, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, but I'm not going to use the salt. And I'm not, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use the pepper either. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. And we're going to use um, uh, some... Um, I'm going to use a, a half a teaspoon of chili powder and cilantro. I don't really like this this much. I can't stand it. But to make it taste good on the thing, it asks for one and a half teaspoon. I'm only going to use a half a teaspoon, okay? Then I got, because I'm not going to use uh, the pepper and the chili powder, all that chili powder and stuff. I'm going to use um, one pack of white chicken chili mix okay where well, you ain't got to use all those ingredients i just use these in case you need extra um everything is in this pack if you use two packs then you don't need to add those ingredients if you use one pack then i'm add ha those ones i called you usually you use more ingredients but we're going to use two packs okay um i'm going to get a skillet because i'm going to do something a little different i'm going to try something different today okay hold on Okay, we're going to do it this way, y'all. We're going to sit here, and we're going to put our onions in here. We're going to stir fry our onions. I usually add, you know me, I'm extra, right? So we want to fry. We want our onions to be tender, and we want them seasoned, okay? So I'm going to add them seasonings in my onions and in my chicken. Okay, we're going to add the chicken in there. And I got two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? That's just what we're going to do. But I'm not going to add all the seasons. Remember, we're just going to sprinkle a little because I got the bag. So we're going to... This is one teaspoon of oregano. Okay. We're going to do... Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Just a half a teaspoon. Okay. We're going to do sinatra. You know I don't like it. So I'm just going to do a very little sinatra. Yeah. Can't stand it. Take the thing off, take the paper off. Uh, Sinatra. You can buy it in a bottle. Or you can use fresh. Yeah. I'm only going to do a little. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather use Italian seasoning instead of Sinatra. So we're going to put some Italian seasoning on mine. About one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. If you want the Sinatra, you can use it. Just use one teaspoon. Uh, or you can use one bushel. One teaspoon or one bushel, and um, 
and uh, cut it up fine, real fine, okay? Real fine, okay? Now, uh, coming, coming, we're going to do, it says one and a half, uh, you do one and a half, but I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to do a half because I'm using that seasoning salt, okay? Matter of fact, I don't think, I don't want to make it too spicy, just going to use a little, because I'm going to use that seasoning. Then we're going to add that bag of seasoning. Let me get a spoon so we can stir that up so it don't start sticking. So I'll take them onions with that and that seasoning. Then we're going to add that white chicken, white chicken chili seasoning to it. Spread it all over your meat. And we're just going to add a tab of Get the original, get the Italian, and we're going to put that two tables, two teaspoons of garlic, fresh garlic, okay? And stir that up. Add a little water, just a tab of water, a little water, so it can get all those seasons in there. I put about a half a cup. A water so can soak all those seasonings in there mm, y'all I can smell it already I hope it turned out good because you know me I'm special and extra and I'm always doing something extra I hope it don't make it too spicy okay we're gonna let that set for about two minutes okay we got our broth going here so now we're going to add our chicken mixture to it, all of it together and mix it well. Okay, and stir that up. I didn't add the pepper because I don't know how hot it's going to be. I don't want it too hot. That's why I didn't add all those seasonings to it either. Okay, make sure you wash the top of your cans. And we're going to add one can of corn. And then we're going to add the one can of um, canned corn. And make sure you drain it. And then one can of Great Northern Beans. You can get any kind of Great Northern Beans, as long as it's Great Northern Beans. And don't drain the Great Northern Beans. Use the juice that it will make it thick. Half a cup of milk or heavy cream. Heavy cream. Um, heavy cream where you don't have to make it too thick. I'm going to add, I'm going to make a little roux to make mine a little thicker. Okay, for chili. And then let's just let it set for about five minutes and taste it to see what you need. Okay. And then our soup is done. We just let it cook for about 20 minutes. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Here we go, everybody. I mean, white chicken chili. Look at them beans. Y'all, and it tastes so good with some cheese and a scoop of sour cream with some crackers and a hot rotisserie turkey sandwich. Oh, my goodness, a rotisserie turkey sandwich. Look at them. Look at them beans, y'all. Look at them. Oh, my goodness, y'all, and it tastes so good. So good. It's so good. Let me show you the pot. See, it thickened up. See how it thickened up? Oh, my goodness, y'all. And the smell, it's got the whole house smelling so good. Okay, y'all, please subscribe, like, share. Let me know how uh, how you like it. Uh, comment in the uh, comments below. And tell me what you think. And try it. And let me know how you like it. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.